Hey y'all, if you've never had endive, let me warn you, it can be a little bitter. Braising it definitely helps, and so does adding a little sauce, which is why you'll be whipping up a quick mustard sauce to go with this dish. Endive is not something I personally eat regularly, but every so often I find myself craving it, and I try to eat it whenever that happens. Bitter taste is a double-edged sword in the plant world. It could signal poison, or it could mean lots of nutrient density, which is why bitter is an acquired taste. We learn which bitter foods are nutritious and which ones to avoid. But if you didn't grow up eating certain bitter foods, that instinctual wariness about bitter usually kicks in and will often make you avoid a new bitter food. But over time, as you keep eating those bitter foods, your body becomes accustomed to them and learns that they are not only not poisonous, but also full of some pretty great nutrition. All right, let's get cooking. Start by heating the oven to 425 and lining a baking sheet in foil. Put the turkey breast on the foil and loosen the skin from the flesh. Pour a little oil under the skin. Use your fingers to spread the oil over the flesh. Then add a little more oil and the seasoning salt on the skin. Use your fingers again to spread everything out. Place the turkey breast in the oven and roast for 30 to 40 minutes or until the breast is fully cooked through. It will be white all the way through, the juices will run clear, and a thermometer will read between 140 and 160. Remove from the oven and cover with foil. Let the turkey rest for 10 minutes. While the turkey is roasting, however, remove any brown exterior leaves from the Belgian endive and cut off the very bottom. Then cut the endive in half lengthwise. Heat a little oil or butter in a pan over a medium flame. Lay the endive in the pan in a single layer with the cut side down. Squeeze the juice from one lemon over the endive. Pour the chicken broth and water in the pan so it covers the bottom. Place the lid on the pan and cook for 30 minutes or until fork tender. Remove the lid and continue cooking until the liquid evaporates and the endive starts to brown, about 15 minutes. Turn the endive in the pan so that it, brown, so that it is browned on all sides. While you finish cooking the endive, mix together the mustard and vinegar. When the endive is done cooking, slice the turkey breast and place half on a plate with some endive. Drizzle a little bit of the mustard sauce on the endive with a pinch of salt. Let's eat. Mm. 